Here we go then. I think I just found the final nail for the coffin. Um, the police and the local government organisation they were a pretty faceless crew to be honest. Apparently they're mostly chief, ex-chief executives of councils. So of course they're going to investigate a council. Um, both, well, not only did they both not answer my questions, they both insisted I go to the information commissioner because <coughs> the ICO, because they said they would then answer my questions. <coughs> Well, it's on the site, it's on whatthenow.com, um, the conversation with the ICO, and I was, I was getting nowhere. So I eventually turned around and said, right, when you tell me that you're not responsible for any information from the police, the council, the LGO, blah, 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 then I'll go away. So they wrote back and said, uh, well, we are responsible for some of it. They said just not what you're asking. <laughs> now, I don't know, some time ago I might have taken that as an answer, I'm not sure. Um, I've got a couple of things wrong during this whole thing. Uh, but then, I, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, I was finding stuff out as I went along, so... Um, Anyway, I said, right, so basically the police and the local government ombudsman have told me to come to you when they would have already known that you could not answer those questions. And that, my dear viewers, is called a conspiracy. Because the, well, as I said previously, the police have actually refused to divulge information and even though they haven't answered the question they said their job is done. Um, so now what they've done, they've actually deliberately wrong-footed me um, in an attempt to make me go away, you know, even for a few weeks or whatever. Um, and they've deliberately given me bad information basically so as to take the pressure off them. So, well, what can I say? It's a conspiracy. Um, I've now proved, and this video is proof, that um, Cambridgeshire Police and the LGO and the Council and probably the Auditor, um, although he's not really in the mix at the minute, um, are deliberately trying to cover up not only the theft of 30 years money but they're also trying to protect the people who stole that money um, and obviously they, they have no interest in finding stolen public money either. So aside from the usual offences you know, of the failure to uphold the law, uh, misconduct in public office, this is actually now formally, this is a, this is a deliberate conspiracy uh, to to spirit away all this sort of um, stuff that's happened and protect the maids basically which is you know which is the way it's been going all along it's just not proved it now so there we have it I've left that with the uh, with the uh, information commissioner um, again you can see the question on the site what do they know.com um, Will I get a reply? <laughs> but it, you know, it is quite incredible what's going on here. Um, and, and everyone, you know, everyone's everyone's complicit in this. Everyone has been involved. The, 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 the Ian Sim has complained about it. He knew. He knew there was money going missing. He did nothing about it. Um, and I dare say he knows a lot more than he's telling. Um, but this, this this goes right back to Ian Bates, who was the head councillor of HTC at the time. 
we were going to ask him why the council weren't issuing receipts when we first started getting into this. He said, don't disturb the status quo, so I bet he knows. I bet he knows everything about it. Um, and this all goes back to a council officer called Roy Reeves. Who, uh, you know, because him and his, him and his mates were, were retiring soon. And they deliberately covered up the, covered this up too, because they, I think, they were probably in it from the beginning. So they all know. And it is now officially... Um, a deliberate attempt, like I say, uh, to, to, to cover all this up. So we got there, guys. <laughs> Finally. Um, this isn't the end, obviously, because action now has to be taken against these people, but... Do you know, I never thought I'd say it, but, you know, it's figured it all out now. It's... Um, it's all become clear exactly what's been going on. Uh, and I've got the proof. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably going to get quite interesting from here on in. Um, again, obviously I can't stress enough that I might suddenly disappear or be found dead somewhere or, you know, I've got... I'm under no illusion what these people are capable of to, to try and protect the establishment. Um, so, you, you know, it's over, but it's not over because it's, it's all going to be um, cleared up and investigated and all the rest of it. And um, just as a quick ending note for today, I'd like to say that I think that obviously now that uh, Cambridge Police and Huntington Sir District Council, every single one of them who have been uh, responsible for a successful prosecution in the last five years, I think every single one of those cases... Um, should be reviewed now because they've lied this much about this I don't think they're capable of telling the truth to be honest I really can't see it I think they've probably stitched up more people than Hitler um, which coincidentally I think they, they probably have the same morals as to be honest which is quite worrying um, I know I, I do I do make jokes about you know comparing them to Nazis and so on but I really think I'm probably a lot closer to the mark than I could ever imagine and uh, since I have now got this cracked what happens to me happens to me but uh, just stay safe out there guys because um, nothing is really what it seems